My name's Professor David Waters. I'm currently the undergraduate admissions tutor here in the Department of Physics and Astronomy at UCL. We're one of the biggest departments in the UK, uh, almost 500 faculty uh, doing research across all of the important topics in, in physics today. Let me tell you a little bit about the research programme of the department. I'm a particle physicist. I'm actually currently building the world's largest Geiger counter, essentially, searching for an extremely rare nuclear decay that could tell us something very fundamental about the nature of the neutrino. Other of my colleagues in the particle physics group were closely involved in the discovery of the Higgs boson at the NHC and are busy searching for, for new particles that might show up there. We've recently refurbished all of our undergraduate teaching labs. You can see one of them uh, in the background. And um, they provide really a first class facility for our uh, physicists here at UCL. UCL also runs the University of London Observatory, which is uh, a fantastic facility. All of our students get to spend some time there. You get to spend more time there if you're enrolled in one of our astrophysics degree programs. And a couple of years ago, uh, two UCL students discovered a supernova at that observatory, which you can actually uh, see here behind me. So there's a huge amount of interdisciplinary work that happens here at UCL by virtue of its location in London with lots of other associated um, laboratories and facilities uh, nearby. Let me tell you a bit about the degree programmes that we offer here at UCL. We offer degree courses in physics, astrophysics and theoretical physics, all of them either as a three-year BSc programme or a four-year MSci programme. Approximately two-thirds of our students are studying for the MSci and if you're unsure, we generally recommend to apply for the four-year programme. You can still switch courses upon arrival at UCL. In the first year of study, the emphasis largely is on mathematics. You don't have to have full further maths A-level to come here to study physics, but the maths that you will be encountering is at further maths level and quite soon goes beyond even further maths. As you progress through your degree course, you have more and more options uh, to choose from. The fourth year is quite different. You have a major two-term research project. Really gives you a taste of what it's like to do cutting-edge research. You may very well be working alongside uh, PhD students and other researchers. You can build the rest of your program from a huge range of uh, advanced options in the fourth year. Most of them are taught here at UCL, but we also take advantage of particular expertise that exists across the University of London, since those courses are taught on a so-called intercollegiate basis. A few words about the application process uh, to physics at UCL. Uh, we'll look very closely at your UCAS application form. Tell us about what excites you about physics, particular physics topic that you're interested in, um, have you done any reading around a particular topic or have you been to some lectures or, ex or done something else to explore your interest in physics? If we make you an offer, it will be for, uh, at the level of three A's at A level. Two A's must be in maths and physics. If you want to come and study um, theoretical physics, we'll also be looking for an A in further mathematics. Finally, we very much encourage you to go online, learn more about the physics department, look at our prospectus. Please do visit our departmental webpage where you can uh, look at what we've been up to recently by clicking on recent news stories. Uh, don't hesitate to get in touch if you have any questions about applying for physics at UCL. Thank you very much.